something of truth in understanding um, through our organizations. So this story, I think, is massive. Um, this story is massive because it's bringing to the fore to many millions of people. There have been, I think, 2.4 million retweets so far, and Facebook probably brings that up to 7 million. Um, and it's important because it shows that there's a movement out there um, of people who, who are like-minded people, people who support this country as a Judeo-Christian country. And uh, for me, this is the most important thing. Um, we're living in a society where anti-Semitism and Jew hate is, dominates the media. Um, and this Christian story actually comes along with that because in a way, Christians are left behind. They're not um, spoken about when Christians are killed, as many are, hundreds are killed, across North Africa, in Egypt. The Copt community is almost um, eradicated in Egypt. In Iraq, which was once a Christian country, I don't think there's any Christians there anymore. Um, so people ignore what's happening to the Christians. We hear a lot about anti-Semitism, but not about anti-Christendom. So I think this, this story brings us together. And that, for me, is the importance of it, and that it's reached City Hall, and I believe it was also mentioned in the House of Commons. Um, and it needs, to, it needs to grow because there's a wealth of people out there who join us, come out, support us, and make sure that our voices are heard.